Hello, I'm NHLNJ fan one. I'm here with um, Memnark as a co-host, and we are bringing Wild and Out, our weekly THL Wild show, to you right now. Um, usually, we have it's me, Mike Vion, but we're not sure what happened to him. Uh, we're just gonna blame Craig of Canada. He probably knows something, so ask him. Uh, He's Memnark. always at fault. Yeah. In this Victoria situation. Yeah. So, uh, how you doing today? I'm doing really well. Very well. Well, I mean, pretty good so far. Like, there's still six more hours to left to ruin my day. So. <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, I've been doing all right myself. I'm kind of really hectic in life right now, but things are supposed to ease up by the end of the week, mm -hmm. hopefully, and uh, it's exciting. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mike Lowe, he is in Craig's basement, we think, but uh, mm -hmm. Craig is nowhere to be seen, so we can't confirm or deny that. <laughs> I mean, of course Craig would deny that. Like, oh, yeah, come of on. course. It's Craig. Yeah. You know, But Craig is cursed, so who mm -hmm. really has the last laugh? I mean, he's trying to uncurse himself by kidnapping people and putting them in their basement. <laughs> what? Like, uh, everyone part of that cast is going to be kidnapped and put in the basement of his uh, apartment, so he gets uncursed. I think that's the only logical explanation for what's going on here. Yeah. So, um, today, we're not doing as much. There's, um, we only have two matches to review and one finals match to go over. So, we decided to add a the Wild Summit from recent. Uh, you'll see that um, Alpha Cord held a tournament between the top NA slash EU players and the Chinese players. Uh, Memnar can speak to that in a bit later. And um, we're actually going to sh showcase and feature a few decks from there that you might be interested in. So, uh, let's get started. Alright, this is going to be a really fun one, I think. Like, yeah, absolutely. Alright then. So, uh, going right into it. First match we had last week was You Sunk My Hattleship versus Nuke the Waygate. Memnar, what did you think about this? I think this was expected, right? Uh, Hattleship had beat them before, so they're going to beat them again. Uh, I was right, saying Bill Snyder was going to bleed, but Art had an A2 is going to carry Bill. Yeah. So yeah. I think I got a 100% prediction right there. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Not bad at all. Uh, Damos really proven <laughs> his strength here, beating Bill Snyder 3-1. to one. Um, <laughs> A The A2 Battleship versus Medusa's game was actually streamed as well. Uh, I helped cast that, and um, it was very much an aggro mirror. Um, A2 mm -hmm. decided to leave Medusa's is, um, quest mage up, and it worked Ooh. out really well for him. Medusa's tried mm -hmm. to go with Demon Hunter, couldn't get the win with it the first two games, then just said screw it and went with quest mage. Highly respect that. Yeah. Just get the tough matchup out of the way if you can. Didn't work out, but well played. So, um, yeah, and <laughs> that will send you slung my handleship to the finals. All right, next up, we have Wild THL Fanatics versus the Biters. Oh man, I casted this one. This was a this was a roller coaster of emotions for me because I like when Mike V or Mike. Yeah, no, no, Mike Loeb milled the quest for the, like, oh, man, that was, that was, a, that was quite something. Like, I thought he was going to lose until I realized, like, he's playing quest mage and the priest, and he doesn't even need the quest to win. So if he was played smart, he can probably still get the W, and he did. But, oh, man, that game, my heart couldn't take, like, there was so much going on there. I couldn't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Milling Time Warp and still taking the win over Reno Priest. Well done, Mike Lowe. Yeah. DDoS messed up Doc's match. Okay, so, yeah. um, yeah, we'll take that into account. Um, mm -hmm. Everyone knows about the DDoS last night, I believe it was, right? No, last night are at 8. No, 7.55. Yeah, 7.55 because, Pacific yeah. and 10.55 Eastern. Uh, Blizzard was DDoSed. You couldn't get a game in, so hence why mm -hmm. that game kind of just never happened. It's not really on anyone. But um, mm -hmm. really, 
the Biters didn't really have a chance here anyway, given the score of the first two games. If you win two matches, then you do move on. So that mm -hmm. match proving to not really matter in the long run. So, well done, Mike Lowe and Electric Sheep City, taking those wins. Very close ones, too. Two to three. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Yeah, that was, that was a nail biter to the end. Oh, man. Yeah. So, um, let's just take a quick look at the playoffs now. And as we can see, we have Haddleship versus Wild THL Fanatics for this week. They both had some okay. very difficult um, roads to get through. Mm -hmm. Wild THL Fanatics having to get through you guys, Memnark, with yeah. that tie. That's insane. Mm -hmm. A four Mike, seed getting through. Mike actually brought the my line up. <laughs> like not the exact 120 cards, but a solid 100, not 110 out of 120, I believe, were the exact same. That's impressive. He, yeah. Uh, he cut an ooze for a loot hoarder in uh, his Mechathune. He copied the 30 exactly from the uh, spell mage or from the quest mage and the uh, Malagos druid. And I believe he brought his own secret spice of uh, Reno Priest. Yeah. So, yeah. So, <laughs> well, so yeah, that was like works. me advancing. Yeah. So, there you go. If it works. That's all my... I mean, it does work. But, yeah, yeah, it clearly has. So yeah. we're going to take a look at Haddleship versus Wild THL Fanatics in a bit. Before we do that, though, we want to focus on something a little different. Oh, my bad. We had... Alpha Chord hosts a Wild Summit uh, tournament featuring top Wild players. Uh, it was 7x7, seven seven, right? 7 against 7? Uh, yeah, 7 against 7. Yeah, so it was a best of 7. Uh, we had Mentalistic, Jack, and my co-host Memnark all playing in it. Uh, several of the games were streamed. Uh, you can find that yeah. on Reddit, I believe. I can link the post in a second. Like, uh, this was... This was unbelievably close. Like, CN won overall for match points, but from total games won, the NAEU had 17 total games won, and China had 16. So, like, they got the match score, but we had the game score. It doesn't get much closer than that. Like, and uh, the... I can talk a lot about the games I played, but... The most notable thing I think came out of this was the CN deck lists. Like, yeah. Yeah, we should I talk don't, about those. They brought some secret spice. Like Yeah, a lot of them were pretty pretty consistent. Except for oh. one archetype that we consider a meme out here, but they seem to be really behind, and that's Linecracker Druid. Dude, Linecracker was actually the nuts this tournament. Like we when we saw that we're like, this druid wins the druid mirror. This also like is a defensive OTK, so it gets by ice block. So like, how do we beat this through with anything but aggro? Yeah. Also, <laughs> diamond. We, yes, this isn't yeah. THL, but also yeah. we don't want like a ten minute recap of everything and then just be done. Mm -hmm. Kind of make it interesting, you know? Yeah. So. So, this is a decent ladder deck, kind of, tier 2, tier 3-ish. But, like, in a tournament setting, this is, like, a tier 1 bring. Like, at least for the one that, for, at least for the uh, China. That and Reno Quest Mage, all, I think every single person, or, like, 5 out of 7, or close to 6 out of 7, brought Reno Quest Mage yeah. from China. Yeah, they mm -hmm. really like the Reno Quest Mage over there. They brought a yeah, lot... I a lot of lists that are similar to the ones that we see here, though, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, there. Let's see here. Their Pirate Warrior is practically the exact same. Their, I mean, I would say their even Shaman was, but and we'll get to that later. Yeah, they brought... <laughs> that was my match, by the way. They brought quite a strange um, Reno Shaman matchup. Or, yeah. sorry, even Shaman yeah. ma uh, deck. But yeah. I think... Memnark, we're going to talk about the person that you played the most, Monkey Feifei, right? Uh, no, I played a... That was um Mentalistic that pl played Monkey ah, well, Feifei. Monkey Feifei played, played some weird stuff, too. I played Hong Chen Len, 
I believe. All right, <laughs> let's see. Hey, Zhang Jin Lin. Or, yeah, I got it. Yeah, I'm not good at pronouncing Chinese names, so I apologize for butchering that. But uh, before we look at that even shaman list, can we take a look at some of Monkey Fei Fei's list, like his yeah. Reno Exodia Paladin? Do you want to walk yeah. us through this a bit? Because I don't oh, no, think wait. we've seen this. Was, this. this is what massacred Jack. I remember this because, all right. So when you're killing, trying to kill a Reno priest, what do you do? You bring a faster combo deck, and this is a faster combo deck. Like. You can. It has the Bureau combo. It also has way more draw, and it's like not terrible into aggro because it has Reno. And you, and the thing that beat Jack was the high. It was actually the high priest Deckle plus Reno, because that put him up to sixty life, and Jack couldn't kill him, so he had to whittle him down, and that bought enough time for Monkey Beefy to uh, get his combo online. Like this is like an it's like he hard targeted Reno priest. It looked like pure jank, but this was. Faster combo with decent into aggro. So if we brought like you know two aggro, one Reno priest, this actually was an extremely good lineup into it. Like, and there's no way you can prepare for this either. Like, yeah, how do I put? This just kind of like combos if, off. Yeah, right? and with the um, <laughs> with things like uh, Geppetto to discount. And you have all those extra spells, as well as the Reno and Thekel mm -hmm. combo. Mm -hmm. You can really put yourself out of range of getting killed, too. Yeah. So it's a like, super unique uh, idea. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to find that even shaman list. I can't remember who played it. That was my opponent. Uh, round three. Um, the one that I couldn't pronounce, and we both couldn't pronounce, actually. Uh, says they brought Warrior, Priest, Demon Hunter, and Mage. Uh, that's the... Let me get the Twitter account. Does all know? Like, yeah. tweeted everything. In the meantime, we also have another deck for a Monkey Fei Fei. A Reno Maligos Warlock. And this was unique because most people focus on the, um... The Leroy combo. And this decided to go with Mali instead. Which is more burrs, but it's also much... It's a lot more pieces. Mm -hmm. He also runs... Um, Plate Breaker. The Plate Breaker was like... <laughs> yeah. That was five head. Like, he thought we were going to bring, like... It's the only way it beats Druid. Like, this does 30 exactly, I believe. Or close to 30. So you need the Plate Breaker to, uh... Get through any... And all armor... This also this uh, this is also a faster combo deck than Reno Priest. So yeah. this is like I think it's at least two turns faster on average because of life tap. And he's running uh Azure Drake's he has run he he ran an Azure Drake as well, so it's even faster. So he doesn't even have to rely on life tap. Oh yeah, and, and Valdor's Felgorge, which is the main draw engine. Like Correct. Reno yeah, Reno Priest runs five card draw, like on average. And this has five card draw in it plus life tap, so yeah, it's always gonna be faster on average. Like this was a very calculated takedown, and you wanted to not be weak into aggro. Like Yeah, very thought, good ring. Yeah. In my opinion. Mm hmm So one second mm -hmm. I'll have the I'm going to just pull up. Oh, wait, that's not the right tool. Uh, if it's you okay. click on the... Uh, I do have it, here. so All right. I'll be able to pull it up in just one second. For those watching, bear with me, please. I am not good at this. <laughs> so I can go into... I've actually been playing this there big even coming. So, you've been playing this big even shaman, you said. Yes, this is hilarious. This this I is see. like Octo Sorry, and that Octos scares me. Octo Sorry is one of the best things you can pull off ancestral, calling <laughs> an aggro deck. Let me just like uh, the Reno Quest Mages. Oh man, they don't know what hit them. 
Like, <laughs> yeah, this is something else. Like, mm-hmm. I don't even know what to say to this. This is like, wow. You have the anti-aggro of Even Shaman along with the big boys of Big Shaman. Yeah, when I when I saw this, I was like, how does this win? And I like started like you know trying to prepare into it, and I was like, how does this lose? Like, oh god, <laughs> seems super annoying. Yeah. So yeah, very interesting. If anyone's interested, please check out those tweets in that Reddit post. Mm-hmm. There's lots in there to find. All right. So, what everyone's been waiting for? The predictions for the final match. It is you sunk my Hattleship versus Wild THL Fanatics. We have R Hat mm-hmm. versus Mike Lowe. Bill Snyder dropping to second place, which is a huge mm-hmm. shock to yeah. play against Dr. Bomb. And then A2 Battleship versus Electric Sheep City. Bill Snyder and A2 both having the same record. A2 always being the three seed and Bill Snyder being the mm-hmm. one seed until this week is just incredible to me. Bill uh, Snyder slumping. Yeah. He what do you think? Prime. Glory days are behind him. Um, I think that Bill Snyder. Uh, God, this is tough. Like, ridiculous hat. It's really good, but Michael really knows how to bring some secret spice. So our hat's gonna have a really hard time, you know, making the lineup because he usually brings a more standardish lists. Bill Snyder, I think he's got. He brought. He brings a a very. Uh, he brings similar list each time. He brings a Doomguard cube. Reno Priest, a Dragon Reno Priest, um, almost every time, I believe. Yeah. So I think he's getting, uh, I think people are recognizing that, encountering. I think A2's been changing it up a bit. A2 really likes his aggro. Yeah. He'll change it up a bit and go full Mm -hmm. combo or something, but the boy likes his aggro, what can I say? Yeah. I believe that A2 is going to make Electric Sheep, Electric Sheep's going to have a real hard time against A2. Yeah. But knowing yep. how A2 is, he's going to yeah. go with his comfort picks. So, yeah. I'll let you see City. I know you're here. Mm-hmm. Keep that in mind. Yeah. So. I think that Bill Snyder will attempt to redeem himself and be smacked down by Dr. Bomb. So, and it's going to go to Mike Lowe and it ridiculous out. I mean, this is on stream. Mike Lowe wins this every time. So, I think Mike Lowe's trying to get this streamed. <laughs> so, yeah. You're not wrong. Yeah. Our hat's mm-hmm. a busy man, though. Yeah, it's true. Yep. Hmm. I think it really depends on this is streamed or not. Guaranteed Michael victory if it's streamed. I want to give it to Michael regardless. I think he can beat it. Really? Him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Right. I'm going to give A2 the only win on Hattleship. Mm-hmm. You know, I keep saying Michael is going to win each time, and he always does, so. Yeah, Except for I that think... one time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, uh,. I think this is it for Hattleship. They're mm-hmm. they're not unbeatable. And even though they haven't been beaten this season, I think this is where they get beat. We're going to see a, uh, a repeat of the the Giants and Patriots. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go there. Man. I don't think we're going to see an undefeated season. So I'm going to give it to Wild THL Fanatics 2-1. You know what? Which of us is Eli Manning? Eli Manning. <laughs> oh, oh man. don't put that evil on me. I can't figure All that right. out. I think, you know, I have to go if you sunk my house ship, just so we have differing opinions, right? I guess so. Yeah. Who are you giving it to, though? I think that A2 and Bill Snyder take it. All right. For, yeah. Okay, I can respect that. So. Okay, I think... I think that'll be it for us today. We don't really have too yeah, much. It's so short. Like, there's nothing really left to talk about. Yeah, like, well. Um, I can talk about... You know. I mean, we should just say thank you, really, to everyone for coming every week. We know we started late. Mm-hmm. And it's unfortunately Mike can't be here because yeah. certain someone did something to him. Craig. But, uh... I, yeah, this has been a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, I I'm glad think, I... I'm glad I've been doing this each week, or mostly each week. Yeah. I don't think we'll be on next week because we will have the results. If there's an all-star matchup in Wild, 
then we'll host that and we'll talk about it quite a bit. Uh, we're going to just bother our hat about that and see where that mm-hmm. goes. Otherwise, it's been fun and we will see you guys next season. So, mm-hmm. thanks again. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. Have a good night. <laughs>